The reality is these vaccines are effective. So despite all the progress on getting people vaccinated, we're still seeing an increase in cases up about 7% in a week. And now hospitalizations are ticking up in a number of states as well. The reality is these vaccines are effective. How worried are you about this rise? And what do we know about what's causing it? You know, I'm quite concerned about the rise because we've seen this pattern before where you get a peak in cases like we've had over the previous couple of months because we've seen this pattern before where you get a peak in cases like we've had over the previous couple of months. So I'm quite concerned, as are my colleagues in the public health arena, that we might start seeing a resurgence of cases which would really be unfortunate because just now the vaccines are coming online. A lot more people are getting vaccinated. If we could hold on just a bit longer, we could get a lot more people vaccinated, which would make that surge less likely. The reality is these vaccines are effective. The reality is these vaccines are effective. It is of concern to me. But we do, as we mentioned there, about 35% of Americans have already had at least one dose. So won't that help keep the possible outbreaks in check to some degree? Absolutely. But we do, as we mentioned there, about 35% of Americans have already had at least one dose. So won't that help keep the possible outbreaks in check to some degree? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's the point I'm making, that if we could hang on every day, we're vaccinating between 2.5 and 3 million people per day. So every day that goes by that we hang on a bit, it makes it less likely for a surge to occur. But if people just put aside all public health measures, namely put the masks aside, go to bars, go to restaurants, you're going to see a surge. And that's really a big problem. We don't want that to happen. It would be really taking a step backwards as opposed to going in the right direction. Did you hear that? Once again, they knew the future, right? Oh, here came the surge. Here is the surge. Well, this is just a little while ago. Dr. F up there talking like this, telling you all this, how, you know, it's definitely effective and that the jab is going to work and if we just hang on a little bit longer right and continue to roll up your sleeves that oh then maybe you might be able to throw the masks away and go back to your normal lives get out of here another topic i want to ask you about yesterday you outlined a new large-scale study involving college students that gets to the key question of whether fully vaccinated people can still transmit covid to someone else how critical is it to get answers on this? And could this study help lead to us finally throwing away the mask once and for all? Well, it's a, it is a critical study, and that's the reason why we started it and supporting it. It's important because people are asking a reasonable question. Listen, if I get vaccinated, what is the chance of my getting infected, not having any symptoms, and transmitting it to someone else, which is the reason why we ask people, even when they're vaccinated, to wear masks and the possibility that they may be infected, not know it, and transmit it to others. What this study is going to show is that people who are vaccinated, what is the likelihood that they are going to transmit a subclinical infection to someone else? If we find out they don't, that would make it much, much more liberal in doing things when you're vaccinated without worrying about infecting other people. You gave us a timeline of five months on this study. Do you think five months is when we might be able to start removing that mask? Well, you know, removing the mask is really gonna depend on what the level of infection in the community is. If the vaccine rollout goes well and a lot less people on a daily basis get, get uh, infected, then the likelihood of being able to pull back on mask wearing. I don't want to go there and say it'll be at this date because we don't know. Right now, the one thing I do know is that we have between 50 and 60,000 new infections a day. When you're at that level, you still got to wear a mask. So I guess we got our answer, right? It didn't take five months, did it, for their little study of more guinea pigs and more, you know, young adults that they're going to go and test on and do this and do that. Um, it didn't take five months, did it? Because here's your story that I told you I would be doing a follow-up on in my last video. Already, you're seeing that the jab is not really doing what everybody thinks that it is. 
So here is that article that I told you that I would do a follow-up video on. And as I just showed you with a few clips that I put together for you, they continue to say it's a safe, it's effective, it's this, it's that, um, and that they'll need to do studies to see truly what this jab actually does. Uh, does it just protect against symptoms? Does it protect the one that gets the jab from getting infected and passing it on? Blah, 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 right? Over and over and over again. Uh, well, obviously, here's your answer. We don't need to listen to it. Just like I said, here's your answer. Uh, we don't have to wait five months for you to uh, do your more tests. You already know the answers. You always know the answers. You always predict the future. You guys have hit the Powerball over and over, the Mega Millions or whatever your lottery is in your country, over and and over and over again. It's just astronomical to be able to continuously predict the future, but then yet turn around and say, this is the most unknown. This is the most, you know, thing that they can have had no idea what's going to happen. And we're learning every single day. Uh, but yet they have hit the nail on the head over and over again. Okay. But this come out uh, just yesterday. Okay. Uh, and this says over 100 fully jabbed people contract CV19 in Washington state officials say over 100 people in Washington state have tested positive for CV19 more than 2 weeks after becoming fully jabbed against the disease officials said it says the Washington state department of health is investigating reports of the so-called breakthrough cases which it said are expected with any jab hmm so why are people running to get this i don't know out of the 1.2 million people who are fully jabbed against CV19 in Washington, epidemiologists have reported evidence of 102 breakthrough cases in 18 counties since February 1st, representing less than 0.01% of all fully jabbed individuals in the northwestern U.S. state. Most cases were patients who experienced only mild symptoms, if any, according to the press release from the Washington State Department of Health. However, at least eight people with breakthrough cases have been hospitalized. That's people that have went and got their jab twice, okay? Went and, or if it w soon will be the Johnson, Johnson will only be one. But whatever you want to say, fully jabbed up, they're ready to go, right? That they tell you that you are. Uh, but remember, that's just to the first strains. They don't know if it's going to help against these new mutant strains, these new new deadly strains, more infectious strains that are coming everywhere, and that's why they're locking down, like the other video I just showed you on France, completely locking down now, okay? It says, uh, the Washington State Department of Health is also investigating two potential breakthrough cases where the individuals died. Did you hear this? Got the jab. Got, they still got the so-called virus, and they still died. Both the patients were over 80 years old and suffered from underlying health issues. Don't you love how they always use the underlying health issues when they want to use it for them? You know, oh, well, that's the reason that it happened. It was because of the underlying health issues. But then when it's flipped the other way, and we want to say that, you know, 99% of these people that have died had underlying health conditions, and you're claiming that it was a CV19 death when it technically... Uh, most likely wasn't a CD19 death, that it was some underlying health condition. Oh, we were nuts. We couldn't do that. We were just ridiculous, you know. So it goes on. It says, The Washington State Department of Health said further investigation will help identify patterns among the breakthrough cases, such if a variant of the novel CB may have caused the infection. This is the door. This is why. This is why they opened it up, right? This is why I had to cover this for you. This is the part, this is the most important part of this entire article. Because what they're doing is they are putting this in mainstream news that uh, the possible cause of this is the new variant, which they will then use later on to say, well, we told you that we didn't know if this, you know, jab, even if you were fully jabbed up, if it would, you know, stop these variants, you know. Maybe we thought it would do the UK one. Maybe we thought it would stop the South African one and wouldn't do the Brazil one. You know, however they want to flip this, but they've just opened up the back door, okay? That is how they've done this repeatedly over and over again, okay? Look at this. But look, at, it even says right here, this is how they do this, okay? Look how they put this article right here in the middle. More. Jabs likely effective against CD19 variants. Study suggests. So, likely effective and suggests, right? Study suggests. You see, it's just they talk out of both sides of their mouth repeatedly over and over and over again, okay? But that's how they can leave the door open like I was telling you. 
A breakthrough case is confirmed with a positive uh, PCR test or a positive antigen test in an individual more than two weeks after they have received their final dose of the jab, the CB19 jab, according to the Washington State Department of Health. It says, finding evidence of jab breakthrough cases reminds us that even if you've been jabbed fully, you still need to wear a mask, practice social distancing, and wash your hands to prevent spreading CV19 to others who have not been jabbed. Dr. Umir Shah, Washington State Secretary of Health, said in a statement Tuesday, Wow, right? How, how is anybody going to get it done? Why are you running there to get it done? Explain to me what you're doing. Explain to me what it's going to help you. Um, is it going to uh, stop you from spreading it to somebody else? Uh, nope, it doesn't look like it. Are you going to be able to not wear a mask? Nope. Are you still going to have to socially distance? Yep. Are you still going to have to wash your hands and you know have, be in fear every single day? Yep. It's just nothing changes. Oh, are you? What do they say? Oh, well, the jab will at least stop the deaths. You know, it will uh, just keep the symptoms lower. They won't be as bad, right? Oh, well, this is saying that a couple died. Uh, a few of them have died. So, um, hmm, what are you truly getting this for, right? This is the same repetitive thing that we're talking about on a daily basis because it's very, very alarming to see how the masses have been completely brainwashed, okay? It goes on. It says, large-scale clinical studies found that CD19 jabs reduce the risk of contracting the disease in jabbed individuals by up to 95% compared with those who are not jabbed. However, the jabs are not 100% effective in preventing infection and thus a small percentage of breakthrough cases can be anticipated, according to the Washington State Department of Health. It is important to remember that every jab on the market right now prevents severe disease and death in most cases. Wow, man. Can you leave this any more wide open to where they can say, oh, well, we thought it was going to do this. It, it is doing a little bit of that. It's doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But it's not really doing what you think it's doing. It says... People should still get jabbed as soon as they're eligible and encourage friends, loved ones, and coworkers to do the same. No thank you. It says more than 30.3 million people have been diagnosed with CV19 in the United States and over 550,000 of them have died, according to data compiled by Johns Hopkins University. Always. You know, I can't stand them. I get so sick of repeating it because that's what everything is based on. Just on that. Okay. And uh, do we trust them? No, we don't. It says Washington State has registered at least 363,235 confirmed cases and 5,237 deaths. So far, more than 16% of the Evergreen State population is fully jabbed against the CV19, according to again Johns Hopkins data. I I just I laughed. I laughed when I read this the first time. What is it? Oh, the Evergreen State, right? Hmm. Do you think that it's a, a coincidence that we keep seeing these same things? Oh, Evergreen cargo ship stuck in the Suez Canal. Oh, now we got this. Look at, oh, the Evergreen State is the first one to come out and say that, you know, people that are getting fully jabbed are still getting this, contracting it, and maybe passing it on and actually maybe still dying from CD19, even though they're getting the jab. These aren't all coincidences. They aren't all things that just continue to pop out at us for no reason. There is a reason. Number one, it is a mocking. Number two, it is how they tell you everything that's going to be planned, everything that's going on hidden in plain sight, okay? But we will end this one here. I still need to get my other video edited, and I have two other ones that I was working on the last few days that, uh, like I said in my last video, uh, I had to struggle to get things uploaded. I couldn't really do hardly anything. Uh, my computer is continuously losing files. I've uh, lost so many of my videos that I had downloaded onto my laptop here. Um, so I've continued to put them on to different USBs and different, you know, things that are downloaded away from this because they truly are disappearing. I'm not making this up. I will just, you know, go to look up a bit or go to, you know, save another, you know, video into my, my stash of them. And all of a sudden they're, they're not there or half of them are gone or pictures are gone or, you know, uh, screenshots are gone or, you know, et cetera, et cetera. It's just, it's just insane how much 
uh, crazy this has happened uh, the more and more that I cover this, okay? But I'm not going to give up. Um, I feel great. I feel excited to do this, and I absolutely love talking back and forth with you. We will go live again as soon as I can. I'm actually stopped on both the channels. Um, I will try again tomorrow because I think maybe I'll be able to do it on the backup channel. Uh, seems like maybe it's open back up. But we'll leave this here. I love you all. Continue to pray against all this. Continue to keep your faith. Continue that relationship with God. And if you don't have one, please hit your knees right now. Ask for forgiveness. Start to repent as much as you can. None of us are perfect. We all will go through exactly what you're going through. And there always is one answer. That answer is your relationship and your trust and your faith in God. Everybody, stay safe. Stay strong. No fear at all. We know who wins in the end. Good will prevail. We'll talk to you soon. God bless.